Stop wasting your time learning a bunch of music theory that you will never use. The amount of information you actually need to truly understand music is way less than you think. However, you have to know the specifics that I'm about to show you to decode that information to make it serve you powerfully. The crazy thing is that you most likely have this musical decoder already, but might not fully understand how it relates to music construction. Knowing this relationship, however, will majorly change the game for you. Just like with the Da Vinci code or any secret code, you must first have a decoder key to decipher the code. Without the key, you don't get the secret message that gets you the hidden treasure. In the Da Vinci code, you needed a cryptex to decode Da Vinci's artwork. Now the key to unlocking music that you most likely know already that will unravel all of the hidden codes inside music if you follow what I'm about to show you is the major scale. But knowing the scale alone will not unlock music any more than owning a cryptex would if you didn't understand how it worked on this new level. What's the game by knowing how to decipher this code? I'm glad you asked. You'll know every note in every key. You'll know how to create major and minor pentatonic scales for every key. You'll learn how to create jazz modes in every key. You'll know which chords are major, minor, and diminished in every key. And if you desire to make 7th, 9th, 11th, and 13th chords and other jazz type chords, you'll be able to decode them all and a lot more with this one tool. So let me reveal to you how this will majorly change your musical game. To create a major scale for any key on the guitar, start with your first note and follow the specific pattern for a single string. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. With a half step being the distance between one fret and the next, and a whole step being the distance between two frets. The major scale consists of seven notes, with an eighth note often played at the end to create a sense of finality. This eighth note, called the octave, shares the same letter name as the first note. This pattern applies to every major key and is built similarly on every guitar string and fret. The first note determines the tonic or key, and the pattern dictates which notes will be sharp or flat. Even without letter names or accidentals, the relative distance between each note remains consistent across all keys. This consistency means that the rules for constructing scales, chords, and arpeggios are the same for every key. By understanding the major scale, you can easily create jazz or Greek modes by starting on different degrees and ending one octave higher. For example, beginning on the second degree and playing up to the ninth degree gives you the Dorian mode. The minor scale, also known as the natural minor or Aeolian mode, can be found by playing from the sixth degree to the octave above it. Each scale degree will create a different mode with its unique sound by starting on that scale degree and playing up one octave. We get the following jazz modes if we continue to do this with each scale degree. One, Ionian. Two, Dorian. Three, Phrygian. 4 Lydian, 5 Mixolydian, 6 Aeolian or natural minor, and 7 Locrian. The pentatonic scale is also embedded within the major scale. It consists of the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 5th, and 6th scale degrees. You get the pentatonic scale by removing the 4th and 7th degrees from the major scale. The major scale also helps in understanding arpeggios and chords. In Western harmony, we often skip notes to create pleasant sounding arpeggios and chords. For example, playing the major scales first, third, and fifth degrees forms a major chord or triad, skipping the second and fourth degrees. Similarly, playing the second, fourth, and sixth degrees forms a minor chord or triad, skipping the third and fifth degrees. This method can be applied to each scale note to create different chords. If we continue building triads off each one of the scale degrees, we get the following chords. Major 1, minor 2, minor 3, major 4, major 5, minor 6, and diminished 7. Again, these patterns are true for every major key. It's also true for every minor key. Just consider the 6 as your tonal center and everything remains the same. If you continue to skip notes, you can create 7th chords by adding the 7th scale degree. 
You can add ninths, elevenths, or thirteenths to enrich the chords even further. This is why chord names often include numbers which relate to the scale degrees as defined by the major scale. Now, if all of this blows your mind like it did mine when it was revealed to me, you should see how this is applied to the guitar to simplify songs. My song playing simplified course is my gift, and it will drive all of this home for you. To get that course, click the first link in the video description. Also, the cage system and national number system are major game changers that support all of this. Those two concepts alone will change your musical world. I have more videos here on those subjects and full courses on my website. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.